I was just so in love as soon as I saw this set because of the color. You guys know that I love green and love it so much. And just with this Ecru color, this kind of beige shade, it gave such a vintage vibe. It was, I just thought it was so cute. It was sold out for a long time. It actually still sold out. The top, you can find the pants but not the top very easily. I found these on the New York City store because they didn't have online. I hope by the time this video is live, you guys can find it. But I highly recommend. If you want to see some mod shots and information about this, I'm going to be sharing in a minute. So today I'm going to be sharing the Talma top with the pants. Also the Jordana blouse, which I was so excited about. It was on my wish list for a long time. The Tyson shorts, which are these denim shorts, super cute, lightweight. And the Capri dress, which also was a very interesting piece that I really wanted to try. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm so happy to be back with Suzanne. The latest video I shared was actually some of my small other goods by Chanel and YSL. I don't know if you guys saw. Today we're back with Cezanne and I do have some new pieces from the new collection. I'm going to start from my favorite set which is the Thelma top and the Jack trousers. I think these are such a beautiful combination. I also tried them with different pants and different tops and it's just so cute. This is a super comfortable um, top. I just wanted to talk about the fit uh, in a minute but before I wanted to say this is 34% cotton and 66% linen so it's a mix between both and the uh, lining is all viscose super comfortable so it is a boxy fit as you can see it doesn't have a, much, a lot going on which I actually love I think this is just perfect um, you will see that it doesn't really have much curve anywhere on the breast area or anywhere else so it's supposed to be a cropped top and if you are flat chested that might work better for you than if you have more breast because of that it doesn't really have any curves so if you have more breast you will notice that there is a bit of a gap between those two buttons it doesn't really bother me but I wanted to point that out in case it's something that will bother you you can still fix that by just putting some clip or doing a little bit of a thread in the inside part and it's going to fix very easily but I do wanted to mention that I'm wearing the size 36 for the top which is amazing I think I shouldn't have gone with the 38 because it would have definitely have been too long and this is supposed to be a crop top I even thought about adjusting myself and making it a little bit shorter but when I tucked it in the pants I actually looked really nice so I thought, why not keep it this way? I also saw someone who tucked in the bra. So they made it really, really short, which is also a cute um, idea. So I just wanted to tell you guys about that. But yeah, the first thought is that the straps were a bit too long and I wanted to adjust them, which I think would be really nice. It would bring the top a little bit higher, but then I wouldn't be able to tuck it in. So I decided to keep as it is. You guys will see on the mod shots that it is a tiny bit too long for me. I guess I have a shorter torso. Um, it's kind of hard to say because when I did the test, it did show as average, but maybe it is a bit shorter. I don't know. Um, anyways, I think it's a gorgeous top and it, this will go with so many different bottoms. I am very, very excited about this one. It's super comfortable, super cute, absolutely love the color. And I wanted to talk very briefly about the pants as well. The pants I had to size up. I got 30, um, 38 because the 36 was so snug on my hips. So I'm sure this will definitely stretch out with some wear. However, I wanted to get the perfect wear right away because the loser the better when it comes to this. Uh, it does have a zipper in the front and also this closure so you guys know and it also has this beautiful detail which is a rope as a like an elastic belt it has elastic all over the back and also the front the length is the length is really good for me i feel like it's not cropped and it's also not too overwhelming it's not overwhelming it's just perfect and the the pockets i really love because who doesn't love pockets? I think pockets sometimes they just come in men's clothing and I just wish 
most women clothing had pockets it's just so so good but yeah the pants are really nice very comfy and i love them as a set i already wore them and got so many compliments i wore it with my new little chanel card holder i put a little strap on this like a metal strap and it looked so cute as a mini handbag so if you guys want a review to see a review about this one i do have it I shared last week so I hope you guys enjoy and I'm also sharing all of my leather goods small leather goods if you guys want to see now I want to go ahead and talk about the Jordana blouse this was sold out for so long and I really love the blouse I was so interested in trying on I got this one in size 36 it is really really pretty like a romantic style the fit is great, it's not too long, I can easily tuck it in, which I love, you guys know that I basically wear like 99% of my clothes tucked in. Um, it is cotton, let me just check the material, it's 93% cotton and 7% polyamide, and it's very comfortable, very lightweight, you guys will see that some areas like this one is more um, sheer. But then you have the embroidery, it looks like an embroidery, that it's more white. This one is not a crew, it's definitely a white, like a crispy white color. Absolutely gorgeous. I saw that on the model with the Tyson shorts and I really wanted to pair them together, that's why I got both. Um, I am definitely keeping this blouse because I think it's so unique and it's just truly beautiful. I don't have anything like that on my wardrobe. I do have some similar stuff with... Um, ruffles and maybe embroidery but not something like this i just think this blouse is so so unique it's really really beautiful comfortable lightweight just perfect for summer i am not buying more summer clothes oh, sorry Suzanne, you guys come up with beautiful things every week but i can't i just i can't anymore because in about a month i feel like it's going to be much cooler and we're going to start having more fall vibes so i kind of want to save to get some new sweaters i do have a lot of sweaters from last collection um but yeah it's just very difficult to resist because you guys know that suzanne comes up with the most beautiful knits like ever so going ahead let's talk about tyson shorts these are super cute super comfortable they do like look like a skirt like a skirt which is a mix between a short and skirt this belt is not removable just so you know it's actually not removable it's stuck with the side of it, which is exactly why you open the zipper. My zipper actually came a little bit stuck. It's not too stuck, but sometimes it does get, you know, kind of hard to open. It's pleated on the front. It has this beautiful pleating here, which is, it really makes it look like a, a skirt. The back doesn't have a lot going on, which I actually love because otherwise it would be too much fabric. So one side has the zipper. I got this one in size 38. They do say you should choose a size up if you're in between sizes and I'm always in between sizes when it comes to bottoms. I do think I did the right thing because a 36 would probably have been too snug on my hips. The waist is okay. I guess it could maybe have gone with a size smaller. But that kind of shorts I just felt like it would be so much cuter if it's a little bit loose because it has more fabric. I don't want this to be too fitted. So I really like the 30H. Uh, it's a very lightweight fabric. I would say mostly spring and summer is the, the goal for that kind of shorts. It's 100% cotton and like I said, super, super comfortable. I think the fit is good and the length is also really good. So if you guys are taller uh, than me, this is going to be very good for you. If you are shorter than me but you like uh, longer shorts that's going to be really good too I prefer normally shorter shorts but yeah you guys let me know what you think I'm sharing a lot of mud shots so I think those are really cute I'm still deciding if I'm going to keep them or not I am definitely keeping the Jordana blouse and the set that I, uh, I shared in the beginning so I definitely have to make choices because I don't want to keep too many summer clothes since in just a few weeks it's going to start getting um, cooler and the last one that I wanted to share is the Capri dress so the Capri dress is like a statement piece as soon as I saw on the model I was like hmm I need to try that and actually this dress was released by Cezanne a while ago but I don't think they 
gave too much attention to it they started to share other pieces and i think people kind of forgot about this but this is a really stunning dress in terms of fit i think it's fantastic this fit me as the gloria dress which is the polka dot navy and white so pretty so it is hugging me on the hips and the waist as well which is really nice for that kind of style and then the top is more on the loose side especially the the sleeves it has a lot of room and this one i'm actually wearing the 36 which is my usual size i believe this is 100 percent cotton because it's really comfortable just so you guys know it's completely lined on the skirt area so not on the top but the skirt areas it's lined so 100 percent cotton as i thought and really a true beautiful dress i think this one is actually good for fall the only problem is that it's a lightweight fabric so it might be cold you know like if you guys wear this in a cold environment that might be not enough you probably probably need a jacket or something like to keep you warm but yeah the dress is just so pretty this is what the fabric looks like i think the print is really stunning and perfect for fall I mean, I can totally see this in the fall, also summer, you know, like a summer night if you want to go out. I do like to wear this open. I don't really love all the way closed here. For some reason, those don't really work for me, but you can definitely do that if you want. Love, love the cuffs. Very easy to put my hands in and out, which is definitely a plus because sometimes it's kind of hard to be unbuttoning things all the time to put clothes on. Just so you guys know, I don't know if you're aware, um, if you are familiar with the Pacom skirt I'm going to share here so you guys know. Uh, but this bottom is exactly like the Pacom skirt. It has this and then you can just, you know, close like that and you do the tie on the side. So it does have, it feels like it has some elastane. They don't really say that. Maybe it's just the kind of fabric, but it does feel like a tiny bit of elastane because the fabric is not very stiff. So the dress is really, really beautiful. You guys can see the cut. I think it's really flattering and a beautiful piece either for summer or for fall. Imagine this with like a red lipstick or I don't know, like a leather jacket or boots. I think it's going to be so, so cute. I also love this kind of khaki color here. You guys know that I love khaki. By the way, I'm actually wearing something that I got from the archives. It's such a cute piece, I'm trying to show you guys. Um, it's the Frederica jumpsuit. Really cute. I'm wearing the 36. It did feel a little bit snug on the hips, but then as I wore, I wore like three or four times already, it started to feel more comfortable and more loose. So yeah. That's what it is for today. I hope you guys liked this video. I'm going to be sharing some more pieces from the archives, especially some suede pieces that I got. I got a willow jacket and I got William shorts. They're really nice for end of summer and beginning of fall. I'm going to try making a video for you guys with some ideas for end of summer and beginning of fall. So let me know if you're interested in that. I'm also accepting suggestions. I do have two videos that I promised I would share which are how to style the um, shirts, like the tomboy shirt and also a few other shirts that I have from Cezanne. And also I promised that I would eventually share my favorite pieces from Cezanne. So I'm definitely making these videos soon. I'm going to share that as soon as possible. But next week I will likely share the ones that I already have because some of them I will be returning and others I will be keeping. So I think it makes more sense. But yeah, I'm definitely accepting suggestions. If you guys want to see anything specific or want, want any information, just let me know in the comments below and I will be super, super happy to share. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Mila New York. would love to see you guys there. I have been communicating with so many of you and it's really fun. Sometimes I don't share everything here, but I definitely share there because it's easy to do on stories and just for a few seconds so you guys know everything I get. And you will be prepared for all my upcoming videos. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Welcome if you're not new, welcome back. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!